Hello and welcome to the session. I am Shashi and I am going to help you with the following question. Question says, a company manufactures two types of novelty souvenirs made of plywood. Souvenirs of type A require 5 minutes each for cutting and 10 minutes each for assembling. Souvenirs of type B require 8 minutes each for cutting and 8 minutes each for assembling. There are 3 hours 20 minutes available for cutting and 4 hours for assembling. Profit is rupees 5 for type A and rupees 6 for type B souvenirs. How many souvenirs of each type should the company manufacture in order to maximize the profit? Let us now start with the solution. First of all, let us assume that number of type A souvenirs manufactured the X and number of type B souvenirs manufactured the Y. So we can write, let number of type A and type B souvenirs manufactured B, X and Y respectively. Now we are given that time required for cutting type A souvenir is 5 minutes and time required for cutting type B souvenirs is 8 minutes. And there are 3 hours 20 minutes available for cutting. Now we get according to the question 5x plus 8y is less than equal to 200. This is the time required to cut x souvenirs of type A and this is the time required to cut y souvenirs of type B. We know there are 3 hours 20 minutes available for cutting and 3 hours 20 minutes is equal to 200 minutes. So, sum of 5x minutes and 8y minutes should be less than equal to 200. Now, we are given time required for assembling type A souvenir is 10 minutes and time required for assembling type B souvenir is 8 minutes. Also, we are given there are 4 hours available for assembly. Now our second constraint is 10x plus hy is less than equal to 240. Clearly we can see this is the time required for assembly x souvenirs of type A and this is the time required for assembling y souvenirs of type B. And 4 hours is equal to 240 minutes. So, 8x minutes plus 8y minutes should be less than equal to 240. We know sum of these two time represent the total time of assembly. And total time of assembling should be less than equal to 240. Now, we can represent this inequality as 5x plus 4y is less than equal to 120. Dividing both the sides of this inequality by 2, we get this inequation. Now, let us name this inequality as 1, this inequality as 2. Now, we also know that number of souvenirs manufactured is greater than equal to 0. So, we get x is greater than equal to 0 and y is greater than equal to 0. We know x and y represent the number of type A and type B souvenirs manufactured. Now we are also given that profit is rupees 5 each for type A and rupees 6 each for type B. Now our objective function becomes z is equal to 5x plus 6y. This represents the profit made on x souvenirs of type A and 6y represents the profit made on 
by souvenirs of type P and sum of these two profits gives the profit function that is Z. Now the required LPP becomes maximize Z is equal to 5X plus 6Y subject to constraints Five x plus eight y is less than equal to two hundred. Five x plus four y is less than equal to one twenty. X is greater than equal to zero, and y is greater than equal to zero. Here, LPP denotes linear programming problem. Now to draw the graph and find the feasible region subject to given constraints. First of all, we will draw a line 5x plus 8y is equal to 200 corresponding to this inequality. Now we find that points 0, 25 and 40, 0 lie on the line. 5x plus 8y is equal to 200. Now, this point represents 0, 25 and this point represents 40, 0. Joining these two points, we get this line and this line represents 5x plus 8y is equal to 200. Now, this line divides the plane into two half planes. This plane satisfies 5x plus 8y less than 200. So, we will consider this plane. Now, we will draw a line 5x plus 4y is equal to 120 corresponding to this inequality on the same graph. Now, we know points 0, 30 and 24, 0 lie on this line. Now, plotting these two points on the graph and then joining these two points we get the line 5x plus 4y is equal to 120. Clearly we can see this point represents 0, 30 and this point represents 24, 0. Joining these two points we get a line 5x plus 4y is equal to 120. Now clearly we can see these two lines intersect at a point P here, coordinates of P are 8, 20. Now again, this line divides the plane into two half planes. Now this plane satisfies inequality 5x plus 4 by is less than 120. So, we will consider this plane. Now we are also given that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. This implies the graph lies in the first quadrant only. Now clearly we can see this shaded portion in the graph is the feasible region satisfying all the given constraints. Now this shaded region is a convex polygon. This vertex of the polygon is O. Let us name this vertex as A. This vertex is P. And this vertex, let it be D. These are the corner points of the feasible region. Coordinates of O are 0, 0. We know this is the origin. So its coordinates are 0, 0. Coordinates of point A are 24, 0. Coordinates of point P are 8, 20. And coordinates of point D are 0, 25. We know according to corner point method, the maximum or minimum value of a linear function over feasible region determined by all the constraints occurs at some vertex of the polygon. Now, we will find value of z is equal to 5x plus 6y at each of the corner point. Now we can write feasible region OAPD is bounded. Therefore, maximum value of Z will occur at any of the corner points. 
Now let us evaluate value of objective function z at each of the corner point. Now first of all let us consider corner point 0, 0,25. Z is equal to 150 at 0, 0,25. Substituting 0 for x and 25 for y, in this equation we get value of z is equal to 150. Now we will consider corner point 0, 0. Value of z at corner point 0, 0 is equal to 0 only. Similarly, we can find value of z at corner point 24,0 it is equal to 5 multiplied by 24 plus 6 multiplied by 0 which is further equal to 120 now we will consider corner point 8,20 z is equal to 5 multiplied by 8 plus 6 multiplied by 20 which is further equal to 160. So we can write z is equal to 160 at corner point 8 comma 20. Clearly we can see maximum value of z is 160. That occurs at point 8 comma 20. Now we get company should manufacture 8 souvenirs of type A and 20 souvenirs of type B to make the maximum profit of rupees 160. So this is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the solution. Take care and have a nice day.